rid of his car as we're ready for IMCA racing. Tom Arnst on the pole in the 25. Steve Kaiser out here tonight in number 16. Then Gary Vandermark in the 5. Danny Allen in the 4. Jerry Hunt, Greg Hoppus, Myron DeYoung. He shot. Going underway. Open wheel with the IMCA Modifieds. And look at them make their way through the pack. That's the 44 of Baker making his way through from the rear of the field. And look out, we might have Jerry Payson at number three. Well off the track, he makes his way back on. Kaiser also went off there with him as Arns continues. Later, Vandermark second. Then it is the number eight of Hunt in the third spot and Greg Hoppus with some major problems comes to rest on the top of turn number two. As we go to green flag, three car race for one position. That'll be the second spot as Vandermark's got a big job ahead of him. He's got everyone behind him trying to take his position away. Hunt, Baker, and DeYoung right behind him. That's third, fourth, and fifth. They're wheel to wheel for third. We might get a three car race for second now. Here they come, three wide. As Baker, being bold, takes that number 44 right through the inside. Now he'll slide out the track, almost makes some contact with Vandermark. Here comes Hunt again. And DeYoung will come through as well in a number seven, or at least attempt to, as Vandermark clawing there in that top side of the speedway, trying to hold down to a top five spot. Boy, looked pretty good right there as he made his way all the way back up to the third spot, getting around the eight of Hunt. He's able to find some sort of cushion there. He'll put that modified almost in front of that eight of Hunt. So put Vandermark back up to third. He's got a few car lengths separating him from that second place modified as here we go right back at it for third. That is definitely the race to watch with Vandermark, Hunt, D. Young for the third spot. Right now it's Vandermark's. But he'll just take one little slip, and he's going to have those two guys right there underneath. Boy, that might have been the slip right there, because here they come back. Oh, well, Myron tried to slide that car on the inside. Meanwhile, for the lead, we got to change the lead out of turn number two. Baker from the rear of the field now finds himself the new leader. Put Arnst back to second now. Well, maybe not. Baker slides it up. Here comes Arnst. They almost touch as Arnst slides right in front of him. He'll take the lead back. Oh, for that top spot, Arnst not letting it go easily as Baker falls back to second spot. It's your top five right there. Vandermark almost off the track. Hunt to the inside. Spin over in turn number two as the two have shut, and he comes to rest on the top of turn number two. And a caution flag flaps. Oh, what a great race in that top five. And as it looked like they were coming down for the white flag, makes it a flag to decide this one. Let's see how this one's going to finish up. It's like putting a book down. Now I'm going to pick it up and read it to the finish. Arnt's trying to hold on for two laps. Baker working his way back to the inside. Here we go for the lead. Baker right down there making it easy, almost making a walk right past the 25 of Arnt's. This time Baker able to hold it down just a little bit better, but Arnt's will fight back topside. Vandermark still in third, followed by DeYoung in at number seven. Hunt in the fifth spot. There goes Baker, slides up the track a little bit. Arnt's back to the inside. DeYoung to the inside for the third spot. Meanwhile, Arnst has the front of that modified out front. Baker goes in a little hard. Here we go, but Baker's got a little bit of a grip on that top side. He's going to take the win. Arnst second, DeYoung third, Vandermark fourth, and Jerry Hunt finishing in the fifth spot. How about that one for a finish? Buzz Lawrence alongside Greg Sosha in row two. Daryl Price right next to him. Then Tim Rood votes. Tim Stelmer, Shannon Fisk, Rick Stout, and John McClure.
as it looks like McClure uh, in that ceiling number eight, if I'm not mistaken, as we're underway, and it's Laura Lawrence. Buzz Lawrence, your leader. Schellenberger in the second spot. Stemler up to third. Look at them, four wide, back of the pack. They fan out of four. Looks like Rick Stell with a new paint job on the 410. Him and Price working their way through. Stemler's going to take second spot there. Four wide out of two. Holy moly, these guys making it mighty racy pretty quick. Boz Lawrence looking to lead lap number two. Stemler second spot. They're all sorts of squirrely as the 06 of Greg Sosha was looking the wrong way there for a second as we go for the lead. Stemler right down on the inside. Couldn't make the move work. He'll try to set him up again on the left side of the speedway. Meanwhile, for third, here comes the 52 of Rudvotes. He'll take third spot away. As Shannon Fisk slid out of nowhere. Up into that fifth spot as Rick Stout gets shuffled back again. Here we go at the lead. Stemler on the back stretch with the double zeros on the inside of the 19 of Buzz Lawrence. Lawrence hanging it pretty tight down there, making Stemler have to check up just a bit. They're going to drag race down the chute. For a third position, according to my list, it's John McClure driving to number eight tonight. Working the inside of the 42 of Fisk for fourth spot. As Lawrence has the lead just barely. Double zero works the inside once again to try to take the lead away. Five laps down, just three more to go. Rude votes in third, Fisk fourth. Here comes McClure. Rick Stout in the 410 has his hands full as he got that right rear off the back stretch just a little bit as they're going to make it a four car dash for third, fourth, and fifth. Make it all the way back to six. And we got a spin in turn three and four. It's the 29 of Schellenberger. Not in a proper spectating position on the speedway. And the caution lights are on around the speedway and we'll play single file. 410, Price in a 46, the 06 Asosha. And Schellenberger's 29 as we're ready to tear it up once again. Two laps to decide it. Stemler tried the outside this time in the double zero. Hasn't seen him do too much of that. He'll look there, but Lawrence might be holding on to that top line. Yeah, Stemler's going to hold up top side. We'll see if Lawrence uh, is going to be able to hold him off. Is he's going to see the white flag tell him one more to hold off to him. Look at this race. First six spots up for grabs as Stemler trying to be the first to cross the line. Lawrence will take it right back. Fisk to third. Roofelt's in fourth. McClure and Stout right there. Another drag race on a turn number four is going to go to Stemler, Lawrence, Fisk, Stout, Roofelt's, and McClure unofficially. If you need some goggles, so be sure to stop by Andy's Apparel down there. So we're ready to go for this heat race. Scott Rummel and Mike Harding will set the pace. Actually, make it Travis Lacombe in the number 11. He'll set the pace as him and Harding will go wheel to wheel for that top spot. Then Jeff Rudvoltz, who's been on fire in the number one. It looks like Zach Dunson next to him in the number 30. Ryan Fisk in the 60. Look out. They've tried to make it three wide. Ryan looked to the inside, but look at this battle. We come by for the lead. Three cars after it. Look home. Road votes. Mike Harding. All going after the top spot. Here comes Fisk. Boy, they're still wheel to wheel for the first four spots. Road votes barely with the advantage. Going into turn number three. Lacombe in the number 11. Ryan Fisk in third now as Harding falls back just a bit in the 43. Still, they come out of four side by side. Rude votes in that accurate engines. Number one gets the spot away, but here comes Lacombe and Fisk to make it a three wide race. So they try to anyway. As Fisk practically glued to that driver's side door, the 11 of Lacombe who spins in front of everybody. Look out! Everybody makes their way through. I don't know how, but somehow. 
They were able to make their way through as Jared Stout, Zach Dunson, and Harding. A road votes, Fisk, Harding, Dunson, and Jared Stout. That top five. Larry Kaiser in the sixth spot, Rommel seven. Look, Coleman in the eighth spot. They're single file, and that's how they're going to come out of turn number four. Just shy of the halfway mark as they come by. What does it sound like, Ryan? Fisk's number 60 running a completely full motor there as he made a lot of noise coming down into turn number one. It could be the 43, one of the guys running up front, certainly doing some sputtering out. As they come out of turn four, this time it will be the cross flags and Rude Boats brings them by. Rude Boats out of Middleville, been really hot the last few weeks, had a couple of wins, a couple of second place finishes, sitting right, getting at least pulling right through on the point standings. Here at Ionia Raceway Park, and he continues to lead this heat race. Your front through, front two, pulled away. Oh, Fisk trying to get around the number one of Rudevils, makes contact, he spins, look out, Jared Stout, no place to go. Right into the front end of Ryan Fisk. Dunson got a little bit of the action in the 30, but is still able to drive away. Harding in the 43, Kaiser in the 14, Lacombe in the 11, and Rummel in the 95. There's the green flag. We're underway. Kaiser off the pace in the 14. He's had nothing but bad luck with that modified. He had the same kind of problem on Saturday night. As he'll probably looks like he's going to fall out of this one. He's going to miss a great battle for the second spot as Travis Lacombe making his way back through the pack in the 11. Try to get around the 43 of Harding. Harding holds on for now. Lacombe will drag race into three. Rude votes well out in front. He'll be that first person to see the white flag, letting him know he's only got one more circuit to hold off the field as Lacombe will cross the line second that time by. Harding in the third spot. That looks like whatever Kaiser was having in the 14, he's got it back underway, but well back, and we're ready to finish this one up as Rude votes picks himself up another win. Lacombe second, Harding third, fourth spot will go to Rummel, and Kaiser will finish in the fifth spot. Six of these guys are going to transfer, two of them will be packing up early. So wait to see how this one pans out as they're going to make their way into turn number four to get that green flag, 12 lap, B main, as it's underway for the IMCA Modifieds, here we go. Seely in that number eight. Leads the field down out of turn number two. Price right there in the 46. Then it's Allen in the three. Here comes Jared Stout in the 410. So it is McClure in that number eight. Leading the way, not Seely. It's a Seely car, but McClure behind the wheel. Price second, Jared Stout up to the third position in Papa's brand new ride. Allen in the four spot, look out, getting shuffled back, was shut there for a second, and the number two, Price, got a little off the track in turn two, he'll lose a position as Allen will work the inside. Problems on Schellenberger as he's off the pace, way at the rear of the field. Allen for third spot, Price top side. And it looks like, uh, we'll see if Schellenberger's gonna be able to get his way through, at least straight straightaway as he makes his way by. Or at least attempts to make his way by. Looks like he will make it into the pit area. It's McClure, Jared Stout, Price, and Allen the top four. Fifth spot is shut. Or Kaiser, rather. Fifth spot was shut. But Kaiser takes it back in the 16. Now we got that battle again for the fifth spot is at 06 right there is Greg Sosha in the 06. 
Going after the fourth or the fifth spot, trying to take it away from Kaiser's number 16. So Sosha back there in the sixth position and shot behind him in a number two. Yeah, everyone pretty much spread out around a track. Boy, McClure way up top side. McClure still your leader. Or Jared Stout, I almost said Rick, but Jared Stout in the 410, trying to reel in your leader. Watch the two different lines as they make their way to the left side of the speedway. Sealy keeps it way up top. Stout on the bottom side, but boy, McClure can just hold it up there. Helping him pull his way. As he holds on to that top spot, Jared by himself in the second position. Price third, fourth spot, Allen, fifth, Kaiser. Sixth spot is Socia's 06. Now we go for the lead. Here comes Jared looking underneath McClure as it comes on by. No, oh, unofficially. Tough to call unofficially there as they went on by. As McClure has the lead for now on it too, Jared will fight right back in the yellow floor 10. Price alone in third. And now Jared gets enough of that modified out front. But let's see what kind of run Sealy, or rather McClure gets off the top. Boy, too tough to call that time by. Oh, and Jared got it in a little too hard at one and two. Lost a lot of momentum now as McClure able to pull away by about five, six modified lengths over Jared Stout. Price, Allen, and Kaiser still the top five. I say it's got to be one of the widest lanes we've seen used all season long being used by McClure and at number eight. We don't usually see him up there so high, so late in the evening, but Sailor, rather McClure, I'm gonna say it all night. Hey, making it work up there. Well, field spread out around the speedway as laps wind down, I believe a lap and a half will decide it. Here comes that white flag for McClure. And he'll take a look at it with one more to go for McClure. Jared still second, Price third, Allen fourth, Steve Kaiser remains in that fifth spot. And it's going to be the final time here in the B main. And it will go to McClure. Stout will finish second, Price third, Allen in the fourth spot, fifth spot will go to Steve Kaiser. And the final transfer spot will go to the 06 of Socha. Socha out there in the 06, Price in the 46, Allen in the number three, and Kaiser in the 16 make up the rest of the field. Did I say Rick? I meant to say Jared driving the 410. Of course, Rick giving up that spot in the A for Jared to make his way through. Fly here in just a second. They make their way out of four. That's the green flag. We're underway IMCA style. Well, these guys are going to find out how slick this track is going to be when they make their way into turns one and two. Arnst, your leader. Buzz Lawrence in second. There's your spin. The number 95 of Scott Rummel. We are going to try it once again. Figure a track going to be a little slicker than these guys are used to. With the sprint, the gloss sprints on the track earlier on. Here we go. Three wide right out the gate, right mid pack. Oh my, let's see. Four wide, five wide there. As they make their way through somehow, as Rummel continues to fall back in the 95. Arnst, your leader, Lawrence in the second spot, or is it going to switch when they come out of four? Look at them, three wide mid pack as Arnst leads them by. Boy, as they made their way by that time. A lot of positions, way too close to call, watching McClure in the number eight. 
B-Main. He's already mid-pack, probably about the 10th spot in that number eight. Rootvelt slides up the track back there in the fourth spot. He falls to sixth. Look out, here they come. Boy, the track is a lot wider than we're used to seeing it. As it's still the number 25 of Tom Ars, Buzz Lawrence, Vandermark to third now. Lacombe fourth, fifth hard. Road vote, six spots, Stemler seventh. They'll come by yet another time. Lap three. Buzz Lawrence has his hands full. Look out, it's Vandermark on the top side. Rudvoltz makes his way around Harding's 43 as he continues to fall back. They are three wide with McClure, Fisk, and Joe Banker back about the 10th position. Three wide for second spot. Three wide for that second spot as Lacombe right on the inside, but Vandermark will take the second spot back. Lawrence falls to third, actually a challenge for third. As Lacombe right there, tucked on that inside like a tuxedo shirt. And a pair of pants down here, right down there by the tires. In at number 11, Rudvo's doing all he can to move through as Tim Stemmer up another position in a double zero. So Stemmer up into the top five now. As Arnst continues to pull away at a 25. Vandermark, second spot. Lacombe, third. Stemler, fourth. Fifth spot goes to Buzz Lawrence, sixth. That is the run votes number one. Lacombe looking down there for spot number two. Vandermark wrestling his way back up there on that high side. Vandermark takes the spot back. Look out, Harding. Something wrong with Harding. He just dropped back about four spots as Jared Stout also will go by the number 43. Look over at Vandermark. Wheel to wheel for spot number two. Vandermark fighting back on that high side. Look home, drag races him down the back straightaway. Stemler still in fourth spot. Rude votes up to fifth. Joey Baker challenging fourth, just sixth position on the inside of Buzz Lawrence. Here comes the battle for second, third, and fourth. My Vandermark driving it mighty tightly into turn number one. Now on a turn two, has the nose man number five. Out in front of the 11 of Lacombe. Stemler back there in the fourth spot, waiting for one of these guys to slip up as he'll look right there in the middle now. Stemler in that middle, looking for second spot. He'll tuck out of there and let him battle the front as they almost touch down the front straightaway. Well out in front of the 25. Vandermark still in second spot. Who wants third? Stemler on the inside, actually on the middle side. As Rudvost looks up top, they touch. Stemler into the wall. Lacombe tries to gather it up. Rudvost, no place to go. He tries to gather it back up as Stemler goes to the infield. And Jared Stout comes to a rest right here on the front straightaway. Boy, it was, it was getting, I'm surprised that didn't happen about three laps ago as they had almost made contact down the front straightaway before. Flag in hand, it'll start things up for us and continue it on hopefully to the finish as we are underway. And we got cars spinning sideways. Lacombe in the 11. Collected somebody over there as I walk away for a minute. And just see the 11 of Lacombe sitting down there looking to see who that other vehicle could be. I swear last time we got green there was 10 laps to go. Here we go. Let's give it a shot. Joe Baker right down on that inside. They challenge for second position, but Vandermark not quite ready to give that position up, at least at this time. Baker will try again down low in the 44, making a good run right there by the tires. Rude votes up high and fourth. 
as he's being followed by the seven of the young. So Baker actually takes the spot away as they went by unofficially that time by. So Baker now up the second spot of the 44. Vandermark to third as Tom Arts continues to lead the way. Baker on the inside for the lead. Arndt's going to drag race him on a four and hold on. Vandermark right there to number five as well. Here comes Baker in front of that 44 with an advantage. But Arndt will get the advantage back. Going down on a tour. Two down in a three now. Here comes Baker to give it another shot. Right there in that black number 44. Gets it a little sideways. Has to gather it back up. Arns gets that lead back. Third spot up for grabs as well as Rude goes right there to number one. Here comes McClure to number eight. John McClure right there as well. Now into the almost into the top five as he's underneath the seven of Myron DeYoung. Vandermark well up into the groove in that top side, allowing plenty of downside for Rudolph to take first spot away. So Rudolph's to third spot as Vandermark falls out of the top five. As McClure and Myron DeYoung both slide by, Vandermark falls back to sixth as Shannon Fisk right there in the 42. Meanwhile, up front with five to go, here comes Baker to give it another try. Baker gets a good run going into the corners, but this is where Arts gets all his momentum, but not this time as they go down the back straightaway. Almost leaning on each other as they go into turns three and four. Baker slightly with the advantage. Arts still on the top side. He'll come out wheel to wheel, and Baker will take the lead. So Baker, your brand new leader of the 44. Arnst in the second spot, Rude votes third, McClure fourth, fifth spot. It is Myron de Young, eighth, or rather sixth spot, is Vandermark, followed by Fisk, Harding, and Jerry Hunt, I do believe. Joe Baker begins to pull away by just a little bit, about three or four car lengths, making five car lengths as they go into turn number three. Arndt still there in a 25. Rude votes in that number one in third spot. Fourth spot is McClure. Joe Baker. As Scott Rummel with problems in the 95, he keeps it going. We stay racing. Vandermark slides off the track a little bit, lost another spot. As the white flag's going to flap for a year later, Joe Baker. Last chance for that battle for a second spot is Jeff Rudboats in that yellow number one. Works the inside of the 25 of Tom Arts. Baker, as long as he can keep that equipment under him, goes into turns three and four for the final time here on this Friday evening. It's gonna go to Joe Baker. Arnst, Rudboats, McClure, Myron Young, Shannon Fisk, Vandermark, Harding, Hunt, Tim Rudboats, Kaiser, Jared Stout, Price, Kaiser, and Buzz Lawrence all cross the line. Check one, two, there we go. Well, Joe Baker, your points leader, climbing out of that car. My goodness, now that really that's really going to help your points lead now, but uh, you had to work for this one. Yeah, I sure did. I need my sponsor, Choice Concrete, to come down here and get his picture taken, though. Yeah, Jays, get down here. Come on, you put a lot of money in this car. Tell us a little bit about track and the run. Uh, in the heat race, the track, I couldn't get hooked up on the bottom. I was sure hoping I could in the feature because no one was running the bottom. <laughs> And it worked. It got hooked up and felt good. You're leading the points with just a few weeks left to go uh, here at Ionia. How did this, is that going to change your racing style at all? Just try to get as many points as you can without uh, maybe hurting the car? No, it's not going to change my racing style. I come out here to win. And I've had bad luck the last five weeks in a row. And finally it's turning around, I hope. <laughs> well, congratulations to you. And uh, we'll see if you can hold on to the end of the year. Thanks. All right, how about it for Joe Baker, your winner here tonight? Yeah, the IMCA main event.